Hey, John. It is, you do have to be creative with the playlist. Uh -huh. You know, you gotta, gotta There's gotta only work. so many Eclipse songs out yeah, there. Yeah, I know, you kind of <laughs> run out of the material. All right, so 45 degrees right now. It's a little chilly out the door. We're in decent shape today for viewing. And then, taste of June for your terrific Tuesday before it's wet and cooler. More roller coaster weather to talk about. So, now, let's talk about the bottom line. Dry, 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 dry. As we set our sights on the noon hour, right around 60, into the 2 o'clock hour, great. And then, here we go with some clouds. So, clouds are going to fill in by 4 into the afternoon. Just clouds. I mean, we're staying dry and the numbers are nice for this time of the year, but that is going to be the rub, the timing of these high clouds that are coming in. Right now, it's nice. I mean, you do need coat out the door. We have wind chills in the 20s, Sullivan, Orange, Ulster, Suffolk, uh, cool pockets of Jersey as well, but you're in fine shape. If you do have to fly or taken off, you've got things to do. Weather is going to cooperate in our area. Line of showers pushing into western PA. This has got to be freaking people out in upstate New York as they're watching this line. I know Lonnie, we actually have Lonnie and uh, one of our producers, Matt Villafane, is up there with him. And Matt, I know, is right now watching this very closely. And again, you've got a little bit of shower activity into parts of the Ohio Valley. So as far as the actual viewing conditions, numbers are are going to be nice. We have snowpack, but numbers will bounce up for parts of New England. But boy, you look at Syracuse, wow, over to Buffalo. It's going to be a close call. They unfortunately are going to be dealing with a little bit more in the way of cloud cover. So let's zero in on it. This is a future cast model, and we're going to pay very close attention to the cloud cover. Through the morning, it looks great. It's just sublime. But as we work our way into the eclipse hour, it is going to be mixed. So, I mean, it's going to be luck of the draw. And trust me, you only have like five minutes for optimal, you know, effect as you look at the eclipse with the appropriate eyewear. So it will depend on where you are and where these clouds set up. It's going to be that close of a call. And then as we set our sights on Monday night, a little bit more in the way of cloud cover. Tuesday morning, we are off to the races for a great day. By Tuesday night, though, watch what happens. Wednesday morning, not that much in the way of shower activity. Wednesday afternoon, that changes. And then we're going to see more shower activity fill in Wednesday night into Thursday. Thursday kind of raw and wet this week. That's when we're going to see some cooler air Wednesday and Thursday before we see more showers into the first part of Friday, upcoming weekend, looks pretty good. Next time we chat, we'll have the pick of the week, and we'll also check it out for the Yankees for their forecast. But it is going to be a very close call for optimal viewing in our area. All right, John. See what you can do, okay? I you know. got a few more hours to work on this. Ooh.